Today was a big week for Atlanta Rain. We had our owner, Paul Hamilton, come out with his son. It was his birthday. They brought a bunch of his friends. After the game, we had a birthday party for Paul's son and his friends. Uh, it was a really cool event. We got to sign jerseys for them and meet them. Uh, we hung out with them. We actually played some games on our PCs. They wanted to play on our computers. They stole them one by one. Ended up being about like 10 of them playing on our PCs. Oh, nice job. A few of the players, like DeFran and Daco, started playing, and then they all started trying to team up on them. Um, you know, kill Daco, kill DeFran, and then they got all they got pretty happy and they started screaming when they finally took DeFran down on Tracer. So. You just called DeFran's dumb? Uh, no. oh. oh. It's really cool all the support we get from all the different age groups. Um, it was pretty easy to see this past week with all the support we've gotten. Um, but, you know, it's really all about the fans at the end of the day. It really shows your support and we can't wait to give it our all this season for you guys. I'm going to play against Toronto Defiant today. They've showed a pretty good showing in week one. It's an important match for the stage one standings, right? So I think winning in this match is, is really important because this basically means like who goes 1-2 down, which is really important going into playoffs because you can only lose two, three, four matches depending on the standings. I had dream uh, like I was playing uh, with the maker on stage and I was clicking a lot of head. <laughs> it, it was really realistic. I, I thought it was like real. Yeah. Like a uh, holy shit. Right. Nice. So you gonna pop up? Yeah. I'm prophet. Yeah, it's been a little bit of a hectic week, but I think. And all, we've had some good practice this week. We've been getting better. I usually take a walk every morning, so this morning I was, I was thinking, I was like, yeah, we get better every week, no matter what happens, kind of, we, we always improve and get better. So I think this week, we, as a team, got better. And individually, I'm feeling very good as well. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Love. We're all in good mood. So we will show a really good game today and I expect again big win like our first match. We learned uh, a lot of uh, things after Philly match so we will be way more prepared but uh, really I was really sad uh, after Philly lost game but they're really good. We did like a lot of uh, personal mistakes. First time when I went play on stage, I was really a bit nervous. You can see like uh, a lot of nerves when you play first map, but uh, when you play next map, it doesn't feel like this. But uh, when you see crowd chill for you, it really feels great. When we played against the uh, Philly match, I saw people had a. Uh, Cardboard signs like uh, with Donald Me. What are they writing? Hey, Sombra. I don't know. My mom and then whatever Toronto runs. <laughs> oh, just because we gave you a slice. Yeah. Uh, I think the benefit of having less matches in a stage is uh, you get to prepare more for each and every opponent. So we get four or five days to prepare for just Toronto instead of having to prepare for two separate teams like in week one. The way it was in week one is we kind of had to prepare during the week for both. So we had eight maps to play instead of four. And now we only have to focus on these four maps against Toronto. So it's a, it could be a lot more focused than last season. I think it helps us overall, but I think preparing for one week uh, or one game a week instead of two, it, I, I think at least when the first week when we were preparing, I think we prepared generally. Um, and that's kind of what we've been doing anyways I think with our with our VOD reviews because we review we VOD review every day before practice. I think within that time span, within the week time span before our game, we have a lot of time to prepare for that team. So it's pretty important to more to focus on our mistakes and stuff that we we did last week. Oh, 
Almost a bit, almost a bit. Let's have let's just kill this Let's be on that side. Nice, great, great. I feel like individually, everyone's already looked out for a lot of my coaching, right? They're, they're asking me a lot, can we do a session here? Do you have any tips on that? I played that wrong, how do I play that instead? I think what week one showed to the players for the coaching side is that we, like, we really knew what we were doing. For example, on the, on the Paul map, right, we put in Erster, but then we still played 3-3, free free, and the players were kind of doubting that. But then in the match, it really worked out well, and everyone saw, like, oh, they really know what they're doing, you know? And it worked out really well. Oh, Put me in! Is it clean? Yeah, it's it good. Well, it's good. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 Insane, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> sure. I wish you shield. I think sometimes it's a little overboard, though. When you're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like already shooting it, dude. Yeah, yeah, but we need we need to all focus one target. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another day of Overwatch League 2019. I am Achilles, joined as always by Wolf and Man. We have an exciting matchup for you today. It's going to be Toronto Defiant going up against the Atlanta Reign. Outside of just a little bit of control here onto the point, Stella going to be taken down. Sopran opens things off the cap, comes back in as Atlanta flips the point, and be burned down. That's going to be the effective wipe coming clean up here. Toronto dropping like flies, and that should be it. Just about as aid does get cleaned up. 99 to 90. Atlanta looking to take it to 100, they will be able to do so. Energy built up. Rockpunk go dangerously low. They have to cut their way back, but he's not able to make it out with his life. And that's just going to be a plethora of kills spilling forth here for the Atlanta Reign. Pokemon going low, still leaping forward. This man still massively ahead in that regard. Yep, five bolts basically online here at the moment. Dogman finding the first pick. Estella gets taken down. And that's just going to have to be the next reset. Just waiting for his moment. Oh, throws it down. Not sure how many people he caught, but that's going to be a big isolation there on the Yakuba, pooping him in the back line. And Pokemon will be able to scoop up the kill. Now Zarya Bubbles coming through as he pushes forward, looking for more, looking to get that next shatter online and put Toronto in the grave. Two kills. Oh, that boss. Roki looking for the back cap. He's in the back, but Dogman is here. Yeah. He's, he's that's a safety. Duel. Oh, and Dogman just assassinates him instantly. Takes him down. Fantastically done. Put him right back into the fight. But Roki taking it down as the friend opens things up. That's going to be a fire strike straight into Stellar's face. They find the kills. And this should be Atlanta taking the point with a fantastic time. Make the boot. Yeah, there's only a little bit of delay you can realistically hope for here as the Defiant. Yeah, locks him up, and it looks like this could just be it. Clean up the kills, Toronto Defiant trying to hold on by a thread, but they're not going to be able to do so. It's just Envy all on his lonesome. No way to deny that damage out to the brand. The grab going to be thrown in for good measure just to ensure the victory. And we will have a series on our hands as Atlanta take the body. A nice bounce back from the Atlanta Reign. We win! What the fuck? No, that's a whole match. That's a whole match. Ah, okay, okay. Why 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 did you get your grab in? Well, one time. I'm the first one. Uh, so you got it. You got yours eaten. So he ate. Uh, there. Oh, no. yeah. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We are currently all tied up one to one after our first two maps here in the series. It's been very one-sided for Toronto at the beginning. Those second, those last two rounds on Busan, very nicely done for them. But on Nimbani, could not find success. Could not make it into point B. He's still sticking through with the third form. Moko gonna get taken down. He drops tank. Him. Now Dako gonna be eliminated. Configuration tank is ready, but he needs to destroy this lineup for Toronto. Goes into the ice block trying to stay alive. Moko getting shipped lower and lower. The blizzard's gonna be coming through. Freezing him up. Yakpung locked up here out of the point. Finds him time and time again. Yakpung goes into the back line. Looking for a pickoff, but Kodak just takes him down. Now Transcendence is gonna be online. This could just be a first attack push here for Atlanta Rain to get the cap, but it looks like that's exactly what gonna happen as Toronto just gets swept under the rock. Cole has the shield raised. They have to keep this one contested, but now Stellar, Roki, A, all the support's gonna be eliminated. The tanks do not stand a chance. Swap over from Yakko, he pops out player, manages to find the kill. The red tire coming through, drops it in, double over to him. Here into the back line, and Roki will be finished off the search and a kill, not a friend. Getting Stellar, Yakko taken down, Ivy, the friend gets himself a triple kill as they finally break this defense from the Defiant. Yep, grab right here into the face of the team. Okay. Finds a nice charge as Roki gets taken down. Now no main tank. Poco gets the Poco gets that fire strike on the IV. It's gonna be another back-to-back -back team wipe. 
Excuse me. Nearly burned out of the mech. Getting closer and closer. Seems like they will be able to find it as the Brand comes back in with the trace of the pole pump. Nearly going to be built up. In on top of eight. He's getting close to that transcendence, but he's not going to be able to build it up in time. The pulse pump comes through. Stellar says goodnight. Atlanta Rain pull off a massive defense here. A full hold on Dorado to close out the series in style. 3 1. There were some falters on Busan, but otherwise, this team comes up big. They come up clutch with so many different compositions. I think the match was pretty good for the team. Um, we felt pretty confident going into it. We, were, we felt pretty prepared. We didn't underestimate them. We knew that they'd be giving it their all um, to try to beat us. Watching the, the VOD against Toronto, watching back our VOD versus Billy, every, everything really came together and, and it helped with our uh, match against Toronto. And it helped, I think, with our general understanding of the game. And for the rest of the season, I, I think it'll be uh, beneficial that Philly game I really wanted that interview. I tweeted about it uh, a couple weeks ago, I guess, or yeah, one week ago after the Philly game because we lost. Um, so I really wanted that interview and I wanted to get that redemption to, to talk to uh, Mika, I think her name is, on the stage. And that was a, a joy and I think that the, it's, I tried to do it to, to get, get some hype, I guess, more hype even more than there was before. Um, for the fans and you know for the people at Battle and Brew that keep supporting us and the people that, that are out there that support Atlanta Rain, I think it's important that, uh, that I wanted to get that interview to make sure that you know I can speak to them and give them some sort of uh, shout out because they've been amazing so far. Regarding the practice we have to do to prepare for the Paris game, I think we need to you know keep getting better at what we're doing. We need to watch the VOD probably a lot more, um, see what mistakes that we did make, you know, see, see what glaring things that we need to fix are because so far um, I think we're, we're getting we're getting better each day and I think specifically um, every, every, regarding regarding like the Philly game or whatever we had some pretty big mistakes that game so I think as long as we patch um, the big mistakes up I think we'll be we'll be golden for the rest of the stage for the Paris Eternal game I think we we need to bring bring the energy that we brought into the uh, the Toronto game um, and the Philly game and obviously we want to win every single game and you know that's what we're prepared to do so hopefully we can, uh, we can get the win. They were playing versus Toronto in the front. The fin fuck. <laughs> the, the, the fin. The fin. The fin. The fin. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay. Attention. <laughs> uh, take three, take four, Ashley. So here we go. Seven three, four, Ashley. We're going to play this one. Today we're playing. <laughs> Wait. Give, <laughs> give me ten seconds, okay? <clears throat> Yeah. We are playing today versus Toronto Defiant. Oh my god. <laughs>